Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace a TPR valve on your water heater. First thing, we need to turn off the water. Let's turn the shutter valve off. This is an inlet. Second thing, I'm going to open the drain line on the bottom. I will disconnect the hose and it going straight to the bathtub. You can see our TPR valve isn't working. It doesn't make any noise. It's not draining the water. Now only thing left is open the drain line and drain the water. When I'm going to start draining the water, I will open the inlet supply line as well so it's gonna release the vacuum inside the water heater also before you do anything turn off the gas valve and shut off the gas and we're ready to drain the water when the water level is lower than the level of the TPR valve I can cut the drain line grab your adjustable wrench put it here and unscrew it And you can see what condition of the TPR valve and also inside the water heater. Let's compare our TPR valve. This is an old one. You can see all the oxidation. It didn't work properly. It didn't work at all. Let's put it this way. This is our brand new one. All right. We apply Teflon tape. Go in counterclockwise. Apply two, three coats and then put thread sealant on top of it spread it around make it nice and even all around start put it in with your bare hands so you will make sure that you're not going cross threaded and then grab your adjustable wrench in my case adjustable wrench cannot fit so I grab channel lock and it will do the job I'm going to use the same piece of CPVC pipe that was installed on the previous TPR valve. I applied the Teflon tape the way I applied it on the TPR valve and I'm screwed in. Now the last step would be to glue these pieces together. I will put the coupling on one side of the drain line. It's fairly easy process. You take the purple primer first, apply it around this pipe and now apply the glue. And stick them both together. Hold it for 15-20 seconds. And now it's all connected. Now you make sure one more time that everything is connected. TPR off is secured. The pipe is connected. The supply line is connected from both sides. You can ready. I can turn on the outlet. And it's time to turn on the inlet. Let's check if the TPR is working. It's definitely working. This was a tutorial on how to replace a TPR valve in your water heater. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye.